Hey guys, Doc back with you. Uh, today I've got another really, really super cool story with some important lessons around it. Uh, this is a story from Mike. Mike actually just came to an Essentials course, I believe about three weeks ago. He found Z Health via the Vision Gym. Uh, and it's kind of a funny story because apparently he did the Vision Gym and he said it didn't work. And then he gave it to his wife and it didn't work for her either. But he thought there was intuitively something right about the approach. So he said, you know what? I'm going to pay for essentials. I'm going to go. I'm going to actually work with a coach and find out what's going on and how to make this stuff work for my work for me. Uh, so went to essentials and in essentials, he learned the thing that we've been trying to get across to the rest of the world for a really long time, which is the minimal effective dose concept, which is that exercise is a drug and sometimes you can take too little and sometimes you can take too much. And you have to have ways to assess and figure that out within a training session, not 12 or 16 weeks later. So if you've been to Essentials, you know that we really focus on teaching basic self-assessments in that course so that you can go away, do your workouts, work with your clients, and have at least a beginning understanding of what's happening at the nervous system level based on the input. Now, after this Essentials course, Mike called in because we've had some follow-up calls after the Essentials to help people really start to figure out how to implement this uh, in their own lives and the lives of your clients. And he said, I wanted to pass on to Matt, because Matt taught his course, that something really interesting happened. He said, I was working on my self-assessments and I was going through basically his high-intensity interval work. And by the way, he's 70, so no excuses, folks. Uh, he's going through his high-intensity interval work. And he was fascinated by the fact that he, at each progressive level of difficulty, when he assumed that his reassessment would get worse, it in fact not only didn't get worse, but it improved. And so he got a really classic Z Health realization, which is that the minimal effective dose concept goes both ways. We want to test everything because sometimes what we figure out is even at the age of 70 or 80 or 90, we're capable of more than we thought. Uh, and so he actually uh, talks about this one workout that he did where he, at each ex increasing level of heart rate, thought that he should be done, and yet his reassessments kept saying, no, you're okay, do a little bit more. And he ended by saying, you know, I decided to quit before my body did because I had reached my time limit on the exercise. I love hearing stuff like that because Z Health has this weird reputation of, ah, they don't want you to work hard. Never have said that. We want you to work intelligently. And working intelligent mean, intelligently means working in tune and in communication, constant communication with your nervous system to figure out what's an appropriate level of threat or intensity for you. So Mike, awesome job uh, utilizing what you've learned uh, and taking it to the next step, applying it in your life. Uh, this is again, super cool stuff for me to hear because sometimes we get these great pain stories, sometimes we get great performance stories. Most important thing for me is we're gonna change the world, we're trying to change it person by person. And so hearing someone take information from essentials and implement it this way and discover something new about their own capability, that stuff's super exciting to me. I hope it's exciting to you. If you have stories, other things you'd like to share with us, just click the link below. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying hearing about the community that you're part of and what they're accomplishing. Thanks.